the Fraunhofer Pro Codec from Sonox has changed the way we encode audio for online distribution, enabling audio codecs such as MP3 and AAC to be auditioned in real time. Now with version 2, Apple's iTunes Plus codec is included, so you can mix directly for iTunes, ensuring high quality output during the mixing process. I'm here on the Prism Sound stand with Graham Boswell from Prism Sound, uh, talking about the new baby Orpheus interfaces, which are the Lyra interfaces, Lyra 1 and 2. Hello, Hugh. Hello. Right, they look very nice. What can you tell us about them? Well, the, you're absolutely right. They, they are a baby, a baby Orpheus. Lyra is, uh, is uh, Orpheus' uh, offspring. Um, what we've tried to do with Lyra is to bring the Orpheus uh, technology into a smaller format so that mm -hmm. we've got a two-channel interface um, but with the same audio capability, the same quality as in the Orpheus unit. Um, we've, we've made two different models because we think there are two different uh, levels of application Right. Um, and they're, they're designated uh, imaginatively Lyra 1 and Lyra 2 mm. um, and it's easy to uh, to distinguish between them by, you, by thinking of the one and two as being associated with a number of channels. The Lyra one has just uh, one instrument input, one mic channel, yeah. uh, but stereo line inputs, and it has one stereo output. Okay. Uh, the Lyra two has a stereo mic input, mm -hmm. two mic channels, two instrument um, inputs, yes. and it has two stereo outputs. It's incredibly so, logical. Incredibly logical. <laughs> um, it, the Lyra 2 also has um, copper connections for digital I.O. with SPDIF and AES using our supplied uh, XLR adapters. Right. Um, and uh, it also supports ADAT mm -hmm. I.O. on the Toslink optical connection. Okay. Um, which uh, is also on the Lyra 1. The Lyra 1 doesn't have the copper connection. Um, and it doesn't support the ADAT, but, but it does have digital SD. Toslink on optical. Right. Um, perhaps we can have a quick look. I don't know if the camera can see uh, the back of the box. So um, those are stereo mic. Uh, those are our balance line ins. You'll see we've gone away from the combination yes. jacks that we had on the Orpheus. They still auto select, but right. you can have them both plugged in at the same time. and manually switch between them, which some right. people ask us for. Yes. There are a couple of little uh, changes. Um, uh, subtle changes really to the electronics uh, mm -hmm. over Orpheus. Some people found the mic inputs a little oversensitive on Orpheus and um, sometimes people used a, a 20 dB external Attenuator. pad. Yes. Um, we've integrated that into the new design so there's a built-in 20 dB pad on the mic inputs. Right. Um, and on the uh, headphone outputs we've beefed that up a little bit as well on Lyra so there's a okay. little bit more level, a little bit more drive available right. uh, on the headphone output. Aside from that, it's uh, electrically very similar to the... So the, the converters are basically the same? Uh, to Orpheus. Yes, the converters are exactly the same. Performance right. is the same. Uh -huh. um, the one area of difference, significant difference, is the host connection, which on the Lyra uh, uh, device is a USB connection. We've gone for USB for simplicity, for ubiquity. Yes. It's, it's, it's much more uh, universally available. Sure. And we don't need... Uh, on a two-channel box, the extra capabilities that Firewire bestows, yes. and the ability to aggregate and so on. So for simplicity and ease of use, we've gone for USB on, on this okay. box. Okay, good. You've also got an AVB socket on there. Yes, the AVB socket um, is quite exciting. It's not actually supported in the initial software release, but it will be uh, supported in later firmware updates. Right. And the intention is to provide connectivity so that we can play AVB streams or that we can generate AVB streams from the Lyra right. um, uh, and uh, use it like, a di you know, like any other digital interface. But sure. I, d I do think that's extremely important yes. uh, for the future. Certainly the way so, of the future, yes. So um, a significant development, we think. Excellent. Thank you. Are these shipping at the moment? Um, these aren't shipping. These were built uh, in the factory in the UK. They're built in Britain. Right. Um, but uh, we are just at the moment sourcing uh, all the parts for production. We made a small quantity, obviously, to make sure that yes. uh, everything uh, was uh, present and correct and worked properly. So we're now gearing up for the full production uh, right. um, phase. And I expect we'll have something available um, around about January. Uh, I had been shooting for end of December, but I think that's a bit optimistic at the okay. moment. So uh, most, likely, most likely it'll be around about January. Okay. Yeah. And what about the, the prices? 
Um, prices, UK pricing on these is 1345 X VAT uh, for the Lyra 1 mm -hmm. and 1845 X VAT for the Lyra 2. Excellent, thank you. They're very nice things. They are indeed, Hugh. Mm. Thank you, Graham. Very nice things, thank you.